So having performed a multipoint test, we can now take a look at our graph. It has some kind of meaning. This graph up here, since we took our points out of order, doesn't mean a whole lot. It's probably more important. It is more important when you're doing an automated test because it shows the pressure points that you took with respect to time. But when you're doing them manually, it probably doesn't make too much sense. The graph down below is the more common graph that you would see for uh, air leakage tests on enclosures where we have pressures here on the x-axis and flows on the y-axis, both of them on a log-log scale. So the curve fit that gets drawn through there is this curve fit here where flow is equal to the pressure in the house to the power of 0.5774 times 148. That is probably not something that you're going to need to know, but if you'd like to take a look at the graph of the data, uh, there it is. So we'll take a look at uh, saving some of our uh, tests, or saving our tests. So hit save, and then we can exit the program. And anytime we want to go back into the program, open it up again. We can go straight back to our test, and there we were, or there we are, exactly where we left off with the same data that we put in there before. And we can edit this data. Very nice feature of this program is maybe a little bit hard to see up here, but we see this. Uh, the file path is ASTM, which is the uh, the software protocol that we're using. The year, month, day, and hour of the test. So we do have the capability of changing this or even making a copy of it. So if we want to keep this, make a copy of it, it's quite simple. We have to make sure it's saved, of course, and then we go save and save as, and we can save this as the uh, house on, on the lake, if we want. Save that, and now we have two copies of that which are identical. So if we were to open all these files, you'll notice that the two of these, if we sort according to the time, then the two of these are one right on top of the other. So we're, uh, don't worry about these guys here, I'm not quite sure what they're doing there, but uh, this is the last ASTM test that we did, which was the uh, house on the lake, and this one has the time that we saved it at, which was 2156, and the original test was done at 2102, which is the first one that we saved. And so we can access either one of those anytime we want, name them anything we like, and store them away forever. And you notice they're very small files, they're only 25K. And the picture that's in the file is not included in there, it's actually uh, pointed to by this file, meaning it sources it from its file path. There's only a file path in here that says where this picture is on your hard drive. So if this picture gets moved, this picture will disappear. So very nice way to uh, keep track of these uh, files. And the appearance differs when you open it at first. You get this style of format with the picture. And you notice we've got the two, the, to the copy we just made. And then once we open one of these, we actually see the files in a slightly different way in this format here. Sometimes if you have some kind of problems with this uh, software, you just merely close it down, save what you're doing, come back, open it up, and usually everything's cleared up. It's a very new software package and still has a few little hiccups in it, um, but uh, essentially it uh, has some very clean architecture at its base and uh, we think it will give you very solid and dependable results for many years to come.